Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we saw that the acceleration due to gravity, which is essentially proportional to the gravitational force on the surface of the planet, is equal to the gravitational constant times 4 thirds pi times the radius of the planet times the density of the planet. Now, if we have a person on the Earth that has a weight of 200 pounds, that same person standing on the surface of Mercury and you have to be careful where you stand because it can get quite hot on Mercury, you would have a weight, or that person would have a weight of 73 pounds. And for comparison, let's take a look at the largest moon in the solar system, Ganymede, which is slightly larger in diameter compared to Mercury. But on Ganymede, that same person would only weigh 29 pounds. That is because the density of Ganymede is much smaller than the density of Mercury, so even though they're comparable in size, your weight would be much less because it has a much smaller density. So let's see where those numbers came from. The density on the Earth is 5,515 kilograms per, per, per cubic meters. For Mercury, it's slightly less, even though it has a higher percentage of metal, it's a much smaller planet, so therefore the compressed density is not as great for Mercury as compared to the Earth. So it has a larger percentage of metal, but it is still less dense than the Earth. Now Ganymede has a very small amount of metal and a fair amount of ice mixed in with the rock, and so therefore, therefore the density of Ganymede is about 1,936 kilograms per cubic meter, quite a bit less than it is for Mercury, and that's why the gravitational force is so much weaker. Now the radius for the Earth, about 6,378 kilometers, for Mercury, it's 2,440 kilometers, and for Ganymede, it's 2,631 kilometers. So you can see that the moon Ganymede is indeed bigger than the planet Mercury. But then when we calculate the gravitational force, notice the acceleration on Mercury is 3.58 meters per second square, compared to about 9.8 on the Earth, and for Ganymede, it's only 1.42 meters per second squared, which means compared to the Earth, it's about 36% the gravitational force of Mercury versus the gravitational force on the Earth, and for Ganymede it's only about 14.5%. So the gravitational force of Mercury is roughly one-third the gravitational force on the Earth, and for Ganymede it's only one-seventh. And for comparison, for the Moon it's about one-sixth. So that means the gravitational force on the Moon, the Earth's Moon, which is much smaller than Ganymede, is greater than the gravitational force on Ganymede, which means that the density of the Moon must be greater than the density of Ganymede, and it indeed it is. So therefore, here's how we'll take a look at the gravitational force on planets, especially the planet Mercury here.